So I don't know why my camera shut off and I don't know exactly where it shut off. But anyway, I'm keeping these two because they're basically all the same colors. Um, the brand name, I guess it's Brayden. Uh, let's see. I'm keeping two because it's always good to have a backup color if you run out of one that you really like. So it's a set of 24 colors and they're both exactly the same. So there's those. Let's see. And we did have a casualty here. Okay, it's a triangular barrel. Okay, no color names it looks like. Let's test them out. It just says color pencil braid and some stars on it. Okay. They go down pretty easy. Uh, let's see. This one. Okay, so they're not horrible. They're not great. Those two colors are blending pretty good. They're kind of blendable. Maybe if you get some mineral spirits. I do not like the packaging at all. It's very flimsy. But that is very noisy too. So let me set this over here. Okay, and then the next Next thing I got, art supplies wise, are these classic pastel pencils. So that'd be interesting to try. And then I got these earth tone graphite pencils, 12 colors. I'm trying to see if they're water soluble. doesn't say that they are and it doesn't say anything about light fastness but where's that page I just wanted to try them I didn't have any color graphite all your colors. Let's just test them out. It has the name, graphite earth tones, and that's it. Okay. Okay, they don't feel like graphite. They feel like colored pencils. They're nice and sturdy pencils. Somewhat blendable. Somewhat. I don't really feel like graphite, to be honest with you. So that's... I just have to keep in mind to use them more like a color pencil, probably. <clears throat> so, this may be a long video because there's a lot of stuff. Okay, next were these eraser pencils. I figured these would be good for trying to erase small details. Sketch eraser pencils. Let's just do a regular pencil here. Oh, they work pretty good. 
Oh yeah, that's going to get into those fine details. Oh, I like these. If you can see that or not. Okay, these I'm happy with. And these are the... What is that? Wartson? <laughs> Sounds like a wart. These are all Wartson. Okay. So that's that for that package. This one's huge. Let's see what's inside of this one. There's going to be some things in here that are not art supply related. Oh, how do I even start with this? While I'm trying to open this up, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If this is something you see, want to see more of on packaging, unboxing, or whatever, let me know in the comments. I think there's some clothes in here, so I'm trying to be very careful. And if you uh, feel inclined to do so, hit that subscribe button. I'm running into some clothes. Helps my channel grow. Helps get my content out to more people. And it's very much appreciated. I honestly thought with this much stuff that it would come in a box. I've already cut something there. Okay, so we're just going to do a little at a time here. <gasps> Opening smile. Where am I? Okay, so this is, um, I'm not going to unbox it, but I have a little gap in my teeth that drives me nuts. So I thought I would try this, um, it's kind of like invisible braces. So we'll see how that works. I think it was, I don't I want to say $10 or $12, thought I'd give that a try. Okay, next. <laughs> Cut this open by accident. Okay. Oh, this feels so snuggly. This is a little sweater like a peachy color and it really I just don't understand why they have no tags in anything but I would assume this does not go in the dryer on high heat maybe low heat for a little bit but it feels really soft okay next oh this is not an art supply but I plan on doing an art project with it this is the Rider Tarot Cards, and this is the classic version of Tarot Cards, so I was going to do an art project with these, so I don't know when I'll get to that, though. Okay, next is another one of those same sweaters like the little peachy one was. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this is what happens when you're, it's 2 in the morning and you can't sleep. I got another one of those. 
invisible brace things. Okay. And this is a blue version. I must have been cold that night, too. A blue version of that sweater. Okay. What's in this? Oh, this is a jacket, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's going to be cozy. It's got a button. Yes. Okay. So this is a uh, casual workwear jacket. Some pockets on the front. This is... Oh, I like this. It's always so cold in the office. I know my camera is very close and I cannot zoom out, so I apologize for that. Oh, look, it has a tag. It has long sleeves. Okay. And the sweater I'm wearing today is from Team U. And I just love it. It is so soft. It's white. And it's in one of my previous videos. So let's see. Little box here. What is this? <clears throat> So, sorry, I'll put a link to this website in the description. Oh, look, there's a little card with this. We hope you get, we hope we can get your smile today. Thank you so much, Mo. Hey, Mo. Okay, so I couldn't decide which set to do the art project with. This is a holographic set. So that'd be interesting. Tarot cards. What do we have here? I do not remember ordering this. What is this? So this is beauty cream. I do not remember this at all. Clear Cover Beauty Cream. What is that? Has a little brush with it. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, I can't get it open. What the heck? Wow, it's the beauty cream that you cannot get open. But what I think it is, is like a foundation. And you put, it has this little spongy applicator. I kind of remember this now. I cannot get it open. That's bizarre. I don't want to spill something on my sweater either. Okay, I'm not going to chance getting it on my sweater, so I apologize for that. But I think it's a, a cream foundation that you put on with that applicator. All right, let's see. Something down in here. Oh, these are some pens. I'll get to those in a second. Let me get back to my sketch pads and check those out. What is this? This is a cardigan, I believe. Yes. Oh, yeah. It is a blue cardigan. No buttons. Knit. Okay. There you go. So 
since I'm running all mascara. Volume Lash Big Mascara, 100% collagen. I'm not going to open it yet because I'm still using another one that I got from the store locally. So I don't want to open it because you know it could start going bad if that happens. If you can't start using it right away. I believe this was at like $1.99. Alright. I'm going to save this. Look, sneak peek. <laughs> sneak peek. What do we have here? It's been a long time. I've been I'm a single mom and it's been a long time since I've been able to get myself clothes and shoes. And stuff so this is very grateful for finding this website because it makes it affordable to get something for yourself okay let's see another mascara oh it's a two-stepper what the heck all right oh, let's see Step one, the brush prepares for 3D volume guaranteed, clump free. The brush transforms to create spectacular 3D volume. All right, I think that was under $2 as well. <clears throat> oh, don't want to get that yet. Gosh, okay. Oh my. <laughs> I'm going to save this for last time. Get to my sketch pad again. Okay, these are, there should be two of these in here. A little wood cut out of the hand of God. I got one for me and one for my sister. Her birthday's coming up in May. That's really nice. I think that was 89 cents. Okay, so here we have another jacket. Ooh, this feels like a teddy bear. Ooh, it stinks. Why does it stink? Ooh, it smells like a box of crayons. This is the... Wow. What the heck? Was it made out of recycled crayons? I'll have to wash this before I wear it. That's for sure. But that is... Ooh, it feels like a teddy bear. It smells like a box of crayons. That's going to be cozy. Get it away from me for that now. Pair of shoes. So, if you do get shoes from this website, keep in mind go a half size smaller than you normally wear because they run a little bit big. A little information there. Oh, wow. I don't know what these are made out of. I doubt it's real leather, but it feels like leather, which is good in winter so no water and snow can get to your feet. Oh, these are nice. I like these. A little bit of pink on there. Nice tread. I think these were $15, $16, something like that. Yes. So keep in mind, if you get shoes from Team U, go a half size smaller than what you normally do. The clothes kind of run that way too. So if you normally get a large, get a medium. And they have a great return policy. Like one shirt I went to, I went on the website to return. It was just one shirt. And they said, no need to return it. You're getting refund. Keep it, recycle it, gift it, whatever. And I'm also um, sending back those colored pencils. And they uh, 
I just had to print up a shipping label that paid for the, the shipping. Wow, I got another mascara. What the heck was I thinking? Oh, this is Bambi. She does Bambi Oversized Eye Mascara. Look at that, not pretty. I got enough mascara to last a long time. I'm not going to open it because I don't want it to go bad. All right, let's see. Okay, what do we have here? I want to keep the art supplies for last so I can swatch them out. I have no idea what this is. What the heck is this? Something since 1919. Let's open this up. Eraser pen. What the heck? Can I get two eraser pencils? Well, let's see. Marie's highlight eraser pen. And I have no idea what that is. Wow, what is that? What? All right, well, I want to look at my order to see what this is. Okay, so that's interesting. <clears throat> All right, some more clothes. I think this is the last of the clothes. Another cardigan, like a t-shirt material. A little bit better than a t-shirt material. Oh look, there's a tag. Look at that. Oh, it has washing instructions. No buttons. That's okay. And it didn't. Alright. There it is. There's my other hand of God. There you go, sister. You know, something that's coming in your birthday package. Okay, these. These are postcards. With the works of... <laughs> Berthia Morissette. Uh, if I'm saying that right. Berthia sounds absolutely stupid. But I don't know how to pronounce it. So, I thought they were pretty. And I've seen these paintings, you know, not in real life, of course. Let's see. I, I always have trouble with this plastic. There we go. Get the old fingernails in there. I think these were like three ninety eight. Try not to tear the box. There we go. I just got a few out. Okay, so it has the painting. It has uh when it was painted, and the name, or I guess where it, where it was painted. I don't know, I thought these were really nice, really cute little postcards. They have other artists. Oh, look at that. You don't have to pick these. There's all kinds of different ones. I like this. All right. Boy, do I have some cleaning up to do. Okay. 
Okay, let's clear this big bag off of here. Garbage. Okay, so I got four packs of these pens. And find my sketchbook here. This thing. This poor thing has seen better days. I can't even like fold it over anymore. <laughs> I just thought they were just so pretty. They're probably all right the same color ink. So we have blue, purples, greens, and pinks. I'm thinking that these were like $1.89 a pack. If that, I don't even think they were that much, but when they got little tips on them. There we go. Oh, look how fine point that is. All right, let's see how they write. Oh my gosh, they write really good. I'm not the real, I don't have the world's best handwriting. See, that's terrible. That says hello and mom. These write really nice, and I believe they're all black ink. And they feel kind of rubbery. They feel sturdy. A little heart on there. I think, oh. Yeah, they're all black ink, but they write very well. And they're so cute. Use those to write out my um, postcards. Okay, now on to the art supplies. Thanks for putting up with me so far. Okay, so let's start here. I have this Nioni sketchbook. It is 160 G's. I'm not sure what that means. Made in China. 30 sheets to this. And then I also got the bigger one of the same thing. It doesn't have a size on here. That's really weird. But you can tell. This one's kind of big. Look, watch. So I'm going to enjoy using those. Okay, now we have some Brut Furner, Brut Fooner, black and white oily color pencils. You need extra black and white, that's for sure. Go through a lot of that. Okay, I'm just going to have to tear it because it does not want to come open. It's kind of Boy, I tell you what, packaging, okay, I'm just going to have to tear it. I don't remember how much these were. I, they weren't that much. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's see, six black and six white. I have enough to last a while. Alright, next thing is this marker pad, let's see, 20 sheets, 250 gram, sounds like food, uh, the marker is for markers, which I like to use markers every now and then, I just recently got into markers been practicing with them. I do have a video, a couple videos down that I did a mixed media with. It's watercolor pencil, marker, and ink. 
and I like I really liked how it turned out. This is pretty thick. I like it. It's pretty thick and it's smooth. Kind of feels like Bristol. All right. I'm not sure how much this was either. It wasn't very much. I want to say four to seven dollars. Okay. All that adds up, doesn't it? Okay. What do we have here? Oh. I have no idea. Giorgiani. Soft, pas soft pastels, 24 colors. All right, let's see. check these babies out. It's probably going to take me 20 minutes to open. That was easy. Open here. Look, they knew I was getting that. Okay, that was so easy to open. <clears throat> A little pamphlet with the color names. And I see there's, oh, is there some English on here? Yeah, there's some English on here. Oh, they're so pretty. Look, they give you extra white. An extra white one. That's cool. Oh, they're so pretty and they're so cute. And they don't stink. Oh, they don't smell at all. Okay, let's check these out. Just real quick. I'm not going to swatch all of them or anything like that. <clears throat> now let me get a sip of water. Alright, check these out. These are adorable. Hopefully they work pretty good. They're smooth. They're a little crumbly. They blend. They blend somewhat. A lot of color. Those are they are pretty smooth. And they do blend. I'm pretty impressed with these. I like that they give you an extra white. Ooh. Okay, so <laughs> let's, let's see. Happy with those. These are again. Right there's the brand name. Soft oil pastels, 24 colors plus one white. They don't stink. Really nice. And no idea how much they were. I want to say under $10. Alright, what's next? Another set of oil pastels. Mungio. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. Look at me finding that. I must have been on an oil pastel night. Kind of feeling kind of night. Do not remember what I paid for these. And you can pay, speaking of paying, you have the option to pay, let's see, of course, master, or credit card, debit card, uh, PayPal, I think, and Afterpay, and something else. I just can't remember what it is. And they keep you very well updated on delivery and shipment. Very well. Almost to the point where it's annoying. <laughs> but that's okay. I'd rather have that than... Where the heck's my package? Okay, here we 
we go. Are you ready? Ready? You ready? Smell test? Nope. Oh, they're, they're, you gotta get right up on them to smell them. Oh, look at those. Those are pro pretty. Pro pretty. Okay, so we do have a black and we have a white. What is this? We have some earth tones, some vibrant lighter colors, some neutral colors. Let's test them out. Not bad. You know what's sad to say? It's almost like that other set butter. It's pretty equal, pretty much equal to this, honestly. All right. So Mungio oil pastels set of thirty six. Or, of course, this one had different type of colors in it. But these were just as good. Let's see. Does it say anything about light fastness? It doesn't say anything on here. So light fastness, it means that it... If your work of art can be placed in like direct sunlight or a strong light and it's not going to fade. Um, so you have to be careful with what you're selling. So if you're not using light fast art supplies and somebody puts it up where direct sunlight's hitting, it's going to fade your, your picture. Oh my gosh, I ordered another set of color oil pastels. This is a set of 36. And it's by, I want to say Itzy. Sounds like a K pop band. It is a K pop band, actually. Okay, so there it is. You can see it. Um, box is kind of bent. Here's the colors. You got some earth tones. Your white and your black, neutral colors. So let's test these out. So it just says oil pastel and their logo and some language I don't know. All right. These aren't bad either. So far, all three sets have been pretty equal in one another. Black is nice. I didn't check out the black on the other ones. Black is nice. This is a gold, I guess. Hmm. Okay. So that's that one. I hope I didn't get any more. <laughs> I got enough to last a lifetime. Okay, so let's see. What else is here? What did we get here? Oh, we got some Calore 70 piece sketching set. Ooh, not oil pastels. Oh, look at that. It's the deluxe sketching and drawing set. Premium, expert, artist quality, professional level, all sketching accessories included. <clears throat> How exciting. I like the tin. Okay, it's a hinged tin. Oh, look, I don't have one of these. 
this is that um, you don't smear and get it all over yourself. Look at that. I don't have one of those. That's my first one. Okay, so it has little itty bitty sandpaper. I've never used one of those, and I don't have one. We have a metal pencil sharpener with two different size holes. Oh, look, and a little tiny one. It looks the same. That's kind of weird. It's like two. Okay, some um, blending stumps. And these, you know, you blend to make everything smooth. And if didn't, once this gets all gunked up, you can sharpen it like a pencil and get rid of all the gunk that's on there. Oh my god, got my fingernail stuck in there. Let's put it this way. There we go. So there's the blending stops. What is this? What is that? Artist knife. How does that work? I don't have one of these either. Okay, I'm not going to cut myself right now, so we'll put that back. Oh, and I don't have one of these, and I've been wanting one. It's a pencil extender. Oh, that's awesome. All right. You have a vinyl eraser. These are great. And you have a kneaded eraser. Don't use those a whole lot. And there's a cat making noise over there. What are you doing? Looking all innocent. Um, I believe these are graphite. Graphite sticks, yes. There's a little chart on here that tells you what everything is. Oh, there's two layers. And these are pastel sticks, like the chalk pastel or soft pastel. These are charcoal sticks. Get three of them in there. What is this? Charcoal sticks. Oh, these are like the... These are four willow charcoal sticks. These are more like a natural form of charcoal. And they're very messy. Get four of those. That's good. This is a nifty little set here. Okay, let's see what's in a tray two. Ooh. Okay, let's take all this in. You get some little 0.5 refillable leads, HB. Let's see what does that go into. That goes into this mechanical pencil. Oh, that feels really nice. Nice rubbery grip and a metal pen. This is going to be a long video, I'm sorry. This is a uh, dual tip marker. Just like any other dual tip marker. This is a eraser brush <laughs> oil pastels and eraser eraser brush pens well, that's what this is this is an eraser brush pen why do they call them pens it's a pencil oh that's nice nice little you can brush off all the gunk okay this is a illuminator pen what is an illuminator pen if you know what an illuminator pen is let me know in the comments I'm thinking it's just like a white, kind of, yeah, it's a white pen, white ink. Cool. Love those. Love Jelly Roll white pens. Those are great. And what are these? Oh, these are white charcoal pencils. Soft, medium, and hard. There's a joke in that somewhere. Okay, and then we have... A black pastel pen. So cool. A sepia, sepia pastel pencil. 
So this is a nice set. I'm really glad I got this red brown pastel pencil. And then it looks like you have a gray or blue of some kind. And then soft charcoal pencil. Medium hard charcoal pencils and some graphite. Oh, I like these. I like working with these. These are graphite pencils. And they're different HB, 4B, and some others. Okay, this this is a very nice set. Very happy with that. I have no idea what I paid for. <clears throat> but that's the Color Deluxe Sketching and Drawing Set. Winner! Okay, next up is another Color item. Color. Sounds like a liquor. Color. 50 pit. 50 piece macaroon color pencils. Now I did get the Castle Art macaroon color pencils. Was not happy with those. There's a video down below with me testing those out. So I'm hoping these are better. They were hard. They didn't blend well. I was just hoping for more, I guess. Oh, I didn't put my little glove back in there. <clears throat> so let's see if these are any better. Uh, it's kind of damaged there a little bit. There's a lot of stuff crammed in that bag. Oh, of course you got your swatching chart, which I never use. Oh, they're so pretty. And they don't stink. So you have one layer. layers. It has the little things to make them easier to get out. Cool. Okay, these, this is a very pretty set. Let's see how they work. Okay. <laughs> They're a lot smoother than the Castle Art. A lot brighter. They look like they could be a little bit blendable if you had some like mineral spirits. Where am I in here? There I am. So I've heard that you can use mineral spirits to blend your color pencils. And I don't know if you can use those blending stumps too. But okay. I like these a lot better than the Castle Art. A lot, lot better. Let's see these colors kind of blend. Okay, so if you're thinking about getting a macaroon set and you're trying to decide between castle art and color, get the color. Color liqueur. Happy with those. Okay, we're getting down to it. There's two more things left, so stick with me. Thanks for staying this far. I got the 72 Brute Funer, Brute Funer Oily Colored Pencils. I think I need to stop buying colored pencils and oil pastels. I think I know. Okay. Tin. I wish this would have been on the tin. Let's see. The box is a little bent there on the corner. We're gonna have to rip it off. Oh nope, there we go. Sometimes on the inside of these, there's a swatching um, paper that you can use. Okay, it's all black. Kind of pretty. Let's say, kind of blushing a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's give it the smell test. They smell all right. You have one, two, three. Oh, look at that. Three layers. Awesome. Okay, let's see. They are square barrels. Um, 
one thing you want to look for in a colored pencil is if the lead is centered. That means it's going to be a lot better to sharpen, less breakage. Okay, so we have just color numbers and the name. So let's test these bad boys out. Oh, these are nice. They're smooth. A lot of color. I'm going to try this orangey one here. Okay. Let's try this one. I'm going to try to see if, how they look like on top of each other. Huh. Okay. I don't know. I have to actually be trying to work on something to be able to tell. Well, okay, there's a white. That's good. And there's some metallics here. I'm not even out of shot. There's a white. There's some metallics. Let's test out one of these metallics. Okay, these are good metallics. I'm going to go down easy. I don't know how shiny they are. Oh, they're pretty shiny. Okay. Let's test out the black. Is this it? I don't know. They're not named. Okay, that's a good strong black. Alright, happy with those. Now I just gotta tell myself to stop buying color pencils. Stop buying oil pastels. These were a good deal. I don't remember how much they were. I'm thinking I wanna say like forty dollars. But that's a nice set. The same colors are in this. Brute Fooner 180 Oily Pastels. Ooh. It comes on a little plastic tote with the handle. I hate these kind of trays. Okay, it's gonna give me the heebie jeebies when I pull these out. Oh, that sound. Okay, so there's one, two, not impressed with the packaging so far, three, four, five, six, six trays. That's a lot of pencils. We got some break, broken ones here. Oh, that sound. Okay. Get over the sound. Carry on. <clears throat> oh, it has a name. Number. Open-ended barrel. Okay, I know you didn't see that, but it, it uh... Oh, God, I gotta move these. Oh, okay. Now, can you see it? I'm not impressed with that black. Where did I find this? Where did I find that? Oh, here. Okay, so let's try a green one. Mint. Mint. Yeah, mint. That's a pretty color. Uh, let's see. Let's try this yellow. Creamy yellow. I always pick a color you can't see. 
those. Let's do a brown for a change. Hmm, this is coffee. I don't know how I feel about these. I mean, they're not horrible, <clears throat> but if I like lightly, they're not breaking. <clears throat> hmm. Let me try another one. Try this purplish blue one. This one's a little bit better. Oh, maybe I'm just getting tired. But honestly, they're smooth. They're soft. They're strong. Maybe I just need to work with them better. <clears throat> have to get some like like same color family to get them to blend but anyway that is my large tea mule tea mule haul i hope you enjoyed it and um give it a thumbs up give me a little comment on what you liked uh let's see hit that subscribe button hit it you know you want to thanks and come back